Hello guys, today I'm trying to tell you about a spam that occurred. So I got a spam which was from the company called Blue Links Corporation. And the email arose from nowhere because I didn't apply to this company and uh, this guy already said we think you have a terrific experience that already was supposed to be a spam and uh, maybe this guy looked at my LinkedIn or like website to know my skills and he offered me a job as a video editor and he asked me to schedule uh, an interview so actually excited to connect and as the way that he was trying to give me praises on my first email that was very clear that this was not a genuine email and then i just answered uh, the spam like hello evelyn hamilton actually this email address also does not exist because i don't know if this company is real or fake If you Google, there is a company profile and everything. And I was pretty surprised. And I went to the contact section. And the email address were on .com, whereas my spammer has chosen .us. So that was the first clue that I got that this might be a spam. So I replied to this person, like sound like a woman. Thank you for your answer. I would like to inform you regarding my interest. For my uh, me, I'm available on the European time from 10 to 18 on the weekdays. And I was just asking him due to this uh, Trump thing for the H1B status. So I was waiting. Then I got another email like, we are thrilled that you would like to join us. So this was also one of the kind of op openers that normally people don't use in a professional basis. And perform tax and interview and blah, blah. And this guy even sent me a briefing like for please. I think he copied the whole thing from the website itself, how did they did, and all the things looked pretty legit, and the pay was pretty high, like it was 50 per hour. And uh, uh, there was one catch, you can choose anywhere from, and when you are doing a training, you have to pay $45 per week. That was what he said, and it was supposed to be a remote work, so that you don't have to go to the office can do any from anywhere and one of the weird thing was like you have to download this wire secure messenger app on your mobile and on also your tablet pc and procedure and the username of this guy because this was if you are dealing with a company they don't do this kind of like a weird name of a messenger they would rather do skype or zoom and then he asked me to add this person and then start talking with him. And this was the interview code. And I was hesitant to download the app and I didn't want to do it, but I just thought, okay, I'll do it just to see what he does. And then I downloaded the app in the mobile as well and started to talk with the spam. And uh, I did a little bit of other emails as well. Uh, I tried to email the company, which was this Blue Links company itself, to uh, tell them that there is a something spooky going on on your side. And then I just asked this person, "Can we do via Skype or Zoom?" It said no as well, no answer, no answer. 
and uh, I just wanted to know where this email started from. That's why I downloaded this uh, uh, email header. Mm, and maybe I have this on my and when I copied this what you have to do is like you have to go to this and so original and then it will show you this header by which you can track the email where it was originated from and I did pasted this and uh, this thing will analyze where this email came from so this email first originated from Hong Kong since the Chinese people are pretty smart they be I think this uh, spam didn't originated from Africa because these spams were more uh, primitive kind of spams and these people are more smart and they are trying to make a lot of I think he could al already be a manager if he worked on a proper company but he was doing this kind of thing so my guess is his, uh, he w is situated in Asia in China or Hong Kong and then from this server it was directed to United States and that's how this uh, email com came to me that's what I thought and uh, this was also one of the sign that uh, and then he asked me to join this kind of uh, website and when I went to this kind of website um, this guy called Cordy Cordy he this is also a fake profile if you look at the LinkedIn this person is not even available right now before it was available so right now I don't know what they did but not available and if you look at the Facebook there was a woman with this profile I think she was a genuine woman who worked uh, I saw her profile and she, she has a wine farm or something and but she worked till 2012 in this uh, company called uh, Blue Links so everything was fake and then I started to, to talk with the spammer in my um, my messenger app you can see how he has start he didn't even knew my name like it was so this was the messenger he pretends him himself as to be a cordy cordy and he writes interview manager blue links as if no one would believe him so he has to give more evidence and then he starts to talk about like hello money he didn't even knew my name at this uh, point and this was my middle name how is your day welcome to your interview session this was all like fake uh, my day is going good thanks for welcoming where are you located i'm from munich sir and then he asked did you get the time to read the briefings he acts as a manager and yeah i said this was pretty easy and then uh, i write sounds good your interview would be conducted uh, through secure pptp chat and blah blah this was like sure cordy i just reply to him and then he answered all right please stand available and pull your verification code and begin i didn't even send him his verification code in this uh, which he sent on the pdf but still he didn't said anything then please note you would be making initial purchase of the software training at this point it was very clear that he would like to have some money out of my pocket as well so these are the ways how the scammers try to take your money and I said I said I trust this won't be an issue and blah blah kind of things would there be in contract and I have to resign a job I just pretend all those kind of shit to tell him like 
and he said this is a remote job you don't need to quit and everything how about how would be the regular work and everything he just paced i think he has a lot of uh, people running on the chat and then he just paste these information so that he does not have to write them or type them that's why he was angry when i asked him some cross questions and i just answer his silly questions like how what is photography blah blah and this was like he just he's just copy pasting everything that was i don't know how are you able to handle and I, I gave this as an interview, which was pretty silly. I asked him, like, what kind of products do you... And he was smart enough to tell, like, our products are wood doors, ATC. <laughs> wood and door, I don't... <laughs> what is a wood product, like? And then... He started to talk a lot. I told him like few skills like how, how I would be useful just to engage this camera for a long time. That's what I learned, like to engage with this camera as long as you can so that he would not be busy enough to pursue others and he even sent me the real website. I don't know what he was thinking at this time. Maybe he made this website as well. I really don't know about this as well. And he asked me, once you are done with any questions don't forget to respond with done he was so dumb like every time when i answer a question i have to write done at the end and i was laughing at this point and he said oh i'm sorry he's using lol what kind of like i don't know the professional people don't use this kind of gestures and when he was asking what are your strengths and blah blah and i don't know and uh, you can choose work and blah blah and money paid and he was just showing me all those and I said is it uh, okay I do a bank transfer he said okay you can do it so I could not copy this uh, to and then I did not know how to put it back so I wrote him today again like I contacted the SR like can you give me this job please and he has not answered me till now because he's already a fake so that was it a lot of such kind of funny things happened uh, while talking with him so what I would like to say like there are a lot of spammers are getting also more advanced so you have to be really aware of who you are dealing with and uh, I think these people will try to get you you as well and and you need to be aware as well so that was it i hope you guys would not fall in this kind of scams or spams i wish you a good time bye bye